Yeah, honestly, like this has been like kind of a hardest year emotionally, but easiest year otherwise. And uh, what made it hard, it was like just kind of having to deal with all the FUD from FTX and kind of seeing the ecosystem have that shock. And like, it's, it's hard, like you feel it, right? Like when something like that happens, it's like really gut wrenching and like felt like, you know, you get stabbed in the back. It just sucks. Um, but what made it easy is that like a lot of the folks, um, both in the ecosystem and at labs and foundation that have been like here for like four years or so, like that have been here for a while, uh, are at that point that they've kind of mastered their trade and they really took control of everything. And like, I, it felt like I, it felt very different. I didn't have to like, I felt like the ecosystem is like pushing more than me. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, it was, it was amazing. It was yeah. one of the things that got me super bullish on the ecosystem, even though I've been a token holder for a long time was, was seeing how the community dealt with the aftermath. It was incredible right yeah yeah that was really like it was awesome to see it was awesome to talk for me to talk to dabs and for them to be like yeah it sucks but we can't there's no other place like that we can do what we want to do literally like we'd have to build our own blockchain and it's just like i don't want to do that. <laughs> that was like the response that i got from multiple different teams and that felt good i was like okay we have like our hardcore fans that have product vision like their only alternative is literally to build their own L1 and they think it's not worth it for them because they'd rather build product. And I'm like, that's great. How did you refocus yourself at that point? Because as you said, it's actually emotionally very hard to go through to see all of uh, this. And I suck at this. Raj is really good. He's got that like emergency room doctor, I think. <laughs> vibe. I, I'm like, okay at it. Like, I, it's not like a panic or whatever, but he is able to just like tell the the story and the narrative and like kind of like reframe things to where I'm my brain is not just like focused on the on the failure over and over. I tend to like get stuck in a loop where I'm like kind of just over and over thinking about the worst possible outcome. That's a really good thing for the engineer uh, brain because like when you're doing systems design, that's what you want to do. <laughs> 